minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power. And lift off. Go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew 7. Endurance ascends an international crew Copy, destined for the International Space Station. Stage one That's propulsion 1 is nominal. Million. Good calls from the propulsion officers here. Propulsion's nominal. 1.7 million pounds of thrust on Falcon 9, taking Crew 7 to the International Space Station, now traveling almost 300 miles per hour. Nominal power and telemetry. We are just about T plus 45 down. seconds into the seventh rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. And right now the vehicle is throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. There's the call out that Crew 7 is now moving faster than the speed of sound. Stage one, throttle up. Confirmation, we have moved through max Q and are throttling back up. Copy, one Bravo. Heard that call from Jasmine on crew seven, as well as confirmation from the ground. The call out for one Bravo means we are in the second and final abort mode for the first MVAC stage, chill continuing is to get good performance. We've got in, uh, engine chill on the second stage MVAC engine. We will then be looking for MECO or main engine cutoff where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages separating. Then the, not, the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. We are now coming up on two minutes into the flight, the spacecraft traveling over 2000 miles per hour. Really incredible nighttime views of Falcon 9 and Crew 7 on your screen right now. So as Leah just mentioned, we are keeping an eye on a couple of critical flight milestones coming up back to back Stage here. Stage one, throttle Those down. are gonna be Miko. So main engine cutoff, now that we're throttling down stage one, followed by stage separation and second stage ignition. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. So there you heard and saw Miko stage sep, and hopefully you heard Jasmine call out for the two alpha abort mode just before second stage ignition. And of course, this is the second stage powering Dragon on its flight, now traveling almost 4,000 miles per hour. Over three minutes since launch, the second stage will continue to power the spacecraft and our first look at the crew inside. We'll be standing by for Seco. That's the next major milestone for this second stage engine that comes shortly before nine minutes into the flight. So we've still got some time on this engine. Now at this point in the flight, we are just about 15 seconds away from stage one entry burn start. At this point, the center engine on Falcon 9 will be lit for just about 10 seconds to help us slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. That's not the only thing helping us on re-entry though. The first stage sees high drag on re-entry, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time the landing burn begins, which you just had great views of on the left-hand side of your screen. Florida Space Coast beginning to come into view in the background. All while Crew 7, of course, on the right-hand side of your screen, lit up by that MVAC engine, continues on its way to orbit. And we are now coming up on. Continuing to get good calls as we reach almost seven minutes into the flight. Crew traveling at 9,400 miles per hour. Again, we still have about one minute, 45 seconds left with the second stage propelling the crew. 
And of course, we are also expecting that landing burn start from Falcon 9 any second now. Great views. Stage two, MTS has saved. Great news there that stage one has successfully landed back at landing zone one in Florida.